I have your attention, please? So I was expecting everyone to be a little, like, shy and not, um, you know, as open as they are. But meeting people, it's been amazing. Different cultures, people are open and friendly. I've really just been talking to uh, other kids, meeting them, seeing where they're from, what's it like there. I was expecting that like all of us will just sit in one room and quietly listen to lectures. But actually, it was like more fun. Like we communicated, and I actually I made a lot of friends. I'm going to represent or talk about my parents' culture, which um, they are from Haiti, so they're Haitians. And, um, this is uh, Natalia, Judy, and um, Conway. And then uh, we all speak like sort of like two and a half languages. She speaks, when you speak English, and a little bit of Spanish. And then she speaks Chinese, and then France. Maybe two. Yeah. I speak French a little bit. Spanish. Problems right now are not local, they're international. And so to have a diverse group coming into this program is crucial, particularly at this age group where they're high schoolers. I mean, there's some that are, I believe, grade 10 and up. And so this is a very critical moment in their life. They're considering what university to enter and to be exposed to as much diversity as possible at this point, um, given the skills that they're learning here is really, really crucial. And so I am optimistic I think more programs like this should be uh, developed and delivered across the world. Have more alliances than either of those two countries, but they also say that South Korea has a really strong relationship with the United States, which is something that Japan is going to be looking for. Okay. Um, Dude, come on. So, what? Come on. Are we meeting tomorrow? What? 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 I'm trying to figure out a meeting date. Are you in Brazil? Yeah, yeah, I'm just chilling. Like I've been, I've been trying to follow the drama on this. Oh, okay. it's been interesting. Oh, what we have it's been drama? Right. Yeah, more so than other groups. Like, yeah. okay, well, yeah, other groups are just yeah. boring. Yeah, exactly. So I've been like trying to hang out. Here. Where you work? Wait, are, like, are what are your countries? Oh, uh, we already, we already, we're already done. Like, we already accomplished. And I also want to highlight that we have Craig Kelly in the back of the room, and Craig will be coming up as the next speaker. So he's in city councilor for Cambridge, Massachusetts. Between the two of us, we're going to go from a very broad global level on uh, political structures down to where things really happen, which is at the very local level. And that's where we learn about politics, where we experience uh, public policies very closely on a day-in and day-out basis. The interactive experience of working as a delegate from a specific country really lets you target the information and learn a lot about a specific topic. Argentina is a nation blossoming with economic and technological potential, with an emphasis on agriculture and manufacturing. We keep an open mind and like to stay out of conflict. We are open to negotiations that help make the world more sustainable, while also serving the needs of others and building the economy. Our goal at the beginning of these two days was to provide care for our refugees, but then we realized that we had internal problems as well. We were excited to enter this conference in the spirit of global cooperation. I'm the representative from the U.S. In the past two days, we had such a nice experience. We went through negotiations, we had proper communications, and best of all, we gained understanding of all G20 members. For me, I learn better when I'm doing something specific with a task, but I also love improvising, so this opportunity allows me to do both. And I think 
is something that you all are very aware of, and I feel like I'm preaching to the choir a bit, is that what happens to you here and wherever your home is, is very much impacted by and shaped by what happens abroad. Of course it's a challenge bringing students together from all over the world. They come from different homes, different cultures, and they speak different languages. But part of the fun is breaking through those differences to find commonalities. And when we think about it, it's actually those differences that bring us all together.